All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. Uh, today we're gonna start playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This game was on the Game Boy Advance, clearly back in 2003. Uh, and this game is one of the very few JRPGs that I like. Uh, I'll get into that later. <laughs> if the game will let me. All right, problem solved. Okay, uh, so this was, like I said, it was released on the Game Boy Advance. This was released in the era that they were also releasing Super Mario Advance. They were porting um, the older Super Mario games and giving them uh, the option of also playing Mario Brothers, the arcade game. Uh, we're not going to be playing that. Let me check them options. You know, I like me some options. Mmm. Those show are some options. Uh, this is on the Game Boy Advance, which did not have rumble, didn't have vibration. Uh, but the Game Boy Advance also had a, a uh, well, I should say the GameCube had a thing that you can add on called the Game Boy Player, which will allow you to play Game Boy Advance games on your TV. Uh, and because you're playing it with a GameCube controller, you could have rumble. Uh, let's go into Mario and Luigi. I haven't played this game in so long. I remember the general overall story, but I don't remember the nuancy, tiny things in between everything. Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna start us a new game. I wish to improve my kingdom's ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. I bring a gift from the Queen Bean. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that ain't good. That don't look like a good gift. <laughs> she got sprayed with the gas and now she's passed out. No, oh, and they out. They outy. Emergency situation. Eh? Did you see the Kingdom Courier? I'm gonna assume that's their newspaper. Sounds like a newspaper. Mario! Okay, so for this portion, I control Toad. I need to find Mario. Let's see, where could Mario be? Is he in the sink since they're plumbers? No, he is not in the sink. For this to be an emergency, this Toad sure is walking pretty slow. I'm moving as quickly as I can. Uh, let's see, is that bad boy? He's not in, the, he's not in what looks like to be a, a garage. Is he upstairs? Oh, that's a nice picture of Princess Peach, to be honest. I like that picture. It's a nice pose. See, these are the brother's beds. He ain't up there. Is this man in the shower? Hmm, I hear humming. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. All right, Mario, that's not how you wake people up. P -p Princess Peach! Princess Peach! Hey, he jumped clean in his clothes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah! Attacking me when my back is turned, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward bros. Alright, so we're gonna fight. What I like about this game is that it actually throws me right into the battle. Uh, if you know an RPG, you know you know how a battle is typically going to go. I'll explain stuff very, very slowly. Uh, at the bottom of the le bottom left of the screen, uh, the ten with the heart by it, that's our health. And the ten with the red and green by it, well, that's something we're going to get into uh, in a little bit. We're going to do a solo attack. Mario's going to jump on Bowser. Damn. <laughs> I haven't forgot how to play this game. It's wild. I haven't played this game in over a decade. 
and I still remember everything. <laughs> Mario! Hmm? When was your last battle? Did you already forget about your action commands? No, I did it. No, I did it, though. Uh, no. We're gonna do no. I think he's still gonna tell me. Oh, really? I should have known. Appreciate you. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so action commands. Basically, um, okay, so I, uh, ooh, I feel like I should have let him explain it. Whatever. Uh, basically, when you attack, if you press an action button at the right moment, you'll deal extra damage. So what I was supposed to do to Bowser was only deal one point, but because I pressed A at the exact moment Mario landed on his head, I got an extra point. This is what happens when you don't press the button. I'll show you this time. So I only did one that time. Ah, I did that too late. Same thing with Bowser using his fire attack. If I can jump in time, I can dodge the entire attack. But if I miss it, I'm gonna get hit. There we go, action command. Mario! I forgot something. This is really important. You can also dodge Bowser's attacks. Do you want to know how? Uh, no, Toad, I got this. Oh, really? I should have known. Sorry for the interruption. It'll even give me a hint on the left side of the screen on how to dodge sometimes, but I think I have to figure out how to do it first, and then it'll start to give me a hint to remind me. Because these attacks stack up. Here we go. Yeah, yo. Uh, wait, wait a second. Listen, this is no time for fighting. Even though I would have won. Listen to me, everyone. Something terrible has happened. The goodwill ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. And replaced it with these explosive vocabulary. Honestly, I thought this was the coolest thing in the world. I still think this is like one of the coolest things, uh, coolest things in video games. So her word is replaced by explosives that drop from the text and explode. God, if I kidnap Princess Peach in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario. Do something super. Mario, please go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario, we leave immediately. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, off on an adventure yet again. I just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shape. You just stretch out and warm up here in this plaza. Oh, and I like, I talk to everyone around here. Who knows what you might learn? Okay, uh, so on top of this being a game where you worry about stats and such, uh, it's also a typical RPG adventure, so I can walk around and interact with the, the world and things like that. Let's talk to this toad who is very weird looking compared to, well, I guess not. I guess he's the toad. So you're going to the Bang Bang Kingdom. That's quite a journey. Do you want to learn about action icons before you go? Let's let's do this one, because I don't remember what action icons are. It might be the thing at the top right. It sure is. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Action icons are symbols that show you what actions you can perform at any given time. If you press the A button when this icon is showing, you'll jump. Boing! You're good at that, right? Stand in front of someone and press the A button when this icon appears to speak. And when this icon appears, press the A button to do a little investigating. You'll see this icon when you stand near signs and things. Keep an eye out for it. 
So that's the fast and dirty explanation. Want to hear it again? No. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Appreciate you, big dog. Okay, so uh, that's that. I can jump at any time. And then I can talk to this chap. Aw, I can't get that mushroom up there. This is so lame. My poor mushroom. All right, so he's got a mushroom up here. I think there are, like, tiny objectives in this game. There's a lot of, like, side stuff that I've never done. Like, I mostly just stuck to the main game. And I kind of want to I kind of want to investigate all of the the side things as well. Kingdom Courier Volume 1. Royal Speech Bombs. The villain who stole the lovely voice of the princess has been has fled to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Mario's reportedly been tapped for the rescue mission. As per usual, Luigi will stay home to guard the home front. All right. Let's see, is there anyone over here? Oh, Mario, your mustache looks so silky smooth today. Show me that super jump. Oh, that was so awesome. Mario, you're the only one in the world who can jump like that. You rule. All right, I think that's enough investigating here. I don't think there's too much more to to do. But we see our, our, our main man. Oh, I can jump up this. Oh, I'm a goof. <laughs> I was looking for stairs. It's Mr. Mr. Luigi. What's going on, bro? <laughs> uh, so he said Mar uh, Bowser went up ahead. Okay, understood. When they talk in this game, that's my favorite thing in the world. This is a save point. We can save here. We can save our adventure. So right now we're in Toad Town Square. Bam. This is Mario. You can see Mario on the uh on the good old I guess this is a passport. Yeah, so I recently returned from a really nice trip to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Ah, uh, Hoo Hoo Mountain, Oho Ocean, Chuckohuck Woods, Teehee Valley. So much to see. I've recorded all my travels in my save album. Okay, it's a save album. Bowser's Koopa Cruiser is parked just up ahead. Who? That is one me machine. Boy. Anyway, it's time you were on your way. Head in that direction once you're ready, okay? But, uh... Rushing your head first into trouble like you always do is crazy, so be be sure to save with that save album. Uh, uh, brother, you are in my way. You are in my way. Master Mario! Oh, it's your boy, Toesworth. It would appear I'm just in time. I have prepared a suitcase for you to take with you on your long journey. I'm quite sure it will prove useful as it holds many items and outfits. Please take it. We got a suitcase. Just press select to open your suitcase and check the menu screen. Then you can use any items you found on your journey or even change your clothes. It's also a good idea to use that screen to double check your personal status. Once you board the Koopa Cruiser, you can take your time and look through it. Now then, I have one more parting gift after the word. Some funds for your trip. Here you go. We got a hundred coins. Oh gracious, Master Luigi. Are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're just seeing Master Mario off. I have a capital idea. I do believe I'll join you. Master Mario, I'm going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Koopa Cruiser. All right, so we're going to meet Toesworth. I want to save again because that, that was a lot. That was a lot. Dope. We got 100 coins. Coins actually have benefit. Again, this is a, a JRPG. Mario! You're late! What were you doing? We're leaving right now! So get on board and make it snappy! <laughs> well, so what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? 
This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser! Hmm, yes, very good. Now all I need are my baddies. Bowser baddies! Bye-bye. Yeah! Where are they? Hmm? What, in green blazes? Hey, you! Are you signing up to join my crew of Bowser baddies? I see, I see. You want me to bring you along that badly, huh? Yes, you! <laughs> oh, that's rich. Don't be modest, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a real pain, but I'll take you anyway. Hey, you! Stop! Your gnarliness. The baddies have just arrived. Hey, the assembly area is over here, you blithering idiots. Oh, they assembling. Oh, they've assembled. Wait! All baddies have assembled. We shall now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. All right, y'all better let Luigi get through. <laughs> Good. Then we can depart. And with an increased head count, too. Excellent. Your filthiness boarding is now complete. Except for one deserter. What? Move it, you idiots. Initiate cruiser pursuit. Y'all better let Luigi get out of here. Oh, he moving. Oh, he ain't moving fast enough. They got him. They got Luigi rolling with us. The skies above Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, you down there in the ship's belly. Mario and... What's your name? Green Guy. Mario and... Mr. Green Mario Brother Guy. Look alive down there, will you too? We're about to arrive in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Press select to open your suitcase, arrange your stuff, and get ready to roll. Then report to the deck. Pronto! All right. So in addition to controlling Mario, we also control Luigi. Let's save right quick. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this area is kind of a tutorial on how to control both brothers at the same time. All right, you can see we have Mario and we have Luigi. Uh, I can also have Luigi hit the save point. It mostly doesn't matter. It mostly doesn't matter which one does it. Yeah, so you may not know this, but we Bowser Baddies recently added a new member. Yep, we've been training until we land in the Bing Bing Kingdom. Ready? Press start to switch positions between front and back. Oh, yeah. Press start to switch positions between front and back. Oh, I'm supposed to. Okay, I'm supposed to move from them. I thought they were just going to do it. Okay, so if we do that, if I press start, instead of Mario in front, we have Luigi in front. You notice that uh, the, the buttons for who jumps where also switch. This is going to be so confusing, I'll probably need to change how my controller is set up. Because A is where B is on my controller. <laughs> it's okay. I'll fix it. Uh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it between episodes. Ready? The A button controls the lead guy. The B button controls the guy in the back. Oh, yeah. The A button controls the lead guy. The B button controls the guy in the back. So, this is A. And this is B. Like I said, I have them set up differently. Uh, oh, this, this guy, this is fun. Ready? If you see a bros block, make sure you hit the block that matches your color. If you hit the block that matches your color, the block will move sideways. If you hit the block that matches your color, the block will move sideways. Do you see? The red one's in front, and he hits the... 
red block, and it bounces to the back and becomes green, where the green one hits it, and then it bounces back forward. So let's see, when I do that. Now, if you're quick about it, you get more coins. It's, it's on like kind of a timer. You, it only lasts for so long. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go this way. I'm busy taking pictures. Don't talk to me right now. All right, fine. Get on line, Cutters. Is this it noticeable? I always look so awful in photographs. All right, he's not taking my picture. Hey there, you two. Yeah, you two mustache dudes. You're about to enter the Bean Bean Kingdom, so you have passports with you, right? <laughs> well, it looks like you've got a suitcase there. Tell you what, go ahead and press select and open your suitcase, okay? Why, you've got them right here. These are your passports. But, hey, there aren't any photos. These won't get you into the Bean Bean Kingdom. No, sir, no way, no how. Don't make out about it, though. If we take your pictures here, you should be just fine. Since the great Bowser has called you to the deck, I'll let you two cut the line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snapping photos is easy. Just stand on that mat there. See it? Right there. All right. Oh, Step onto the mat once you're ready. No hurry. Okay, so there's something cool you can do. You can stand on the mat and you can take the pictures. Or uh, if you press the... The control pad buttons, uh, Mario and Luigi will take different poses, and they will be forever ingrained in your in your passport. Now, Mr. Green Stash, you step back. Okay, I'm going to take it. Oops, I forgot. Oh, he's going to tell you what I just told you. I forgot to tell you. Listen, when you're getting your picture taken, stand still. Don't press any, don't go pressing any buttons on the control pad to make a pose. And here we go. Say cheap, cheap. <laughs> You're next, Mr. Green Stash. Press start to move to the front of the line, then just stand on the map. Got it? Okay, Mario, you step back nice and easy. And away we go. Ready? Say cheap, cheap. Got it. I got two cool photos. <laughs> Great. I've taken passport photos for both of you. Aren't we all happy now? Happy all around. Uh, if I want to see the passport, it's this one. <laughs> That's how they look in uh, what is it? The Super Mario Brothers movie, where they where they're about to get uh their picture sticker. All right, let's switch back. All right, we can continue. Ah, we got a mushroom. What are you doing over here? Hmm, that goes there and this goes here. Working the hold isn't easy. And if you mess up, you have to start all over again. Oh, yeah. We got another mushroom. Uh-oh. You going to be mad. You gonna be mad at me? Hey! Watch it, you clumsy oafs! Don't break the great Bowser's cargo. It's important stuff. The deck? The deck's just up ahead. Uh, but before you go there, I need to make sure you won't slow Lord Bowser down. So, I'll teach you how to fight as a pair. Please do. Then go have a look at that barrel over there. But remember, you're about to face the best of Bowser's most elite troops. So prepare yourselves. All right. So this barrel, something's up with this barrel. Want to break the barrel? Let's break that barrel. Let me show you how to dodge. Mario uses the A button. In green, use the blue button, uh, B button. 
just jump to dodge. That's very, it's very straightforward. In battle, A is specifically for Mario, and blue is, uh, B is specifically for Luigi. So if Mario's gonna dodge, I need to press A. If, if, uh, Luigi's gonna dodge, I need to press B. Now then, little baddies, attack Mario. Attack. Press the A button here. Next, attack Mr. Leaning Green. Halt. Press the B button here. So as you can see, depending on how you time your jump, you might not only dodge, but counterattack as well. The thing is though, there are some attacks like Bowser's Flames that you can't counter. Alrighty then, practice up. Oh, whoops, I almost forgot. You attack the same way as when there's only one of you. Except Mr. Leaning Green uses the B button for his attack command. Press the B button when you want to jump on an enemy. Now you can practice up. Ah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna solo attack the Goomba, and then we're gonna solo attack. Even even choosing on the menu, I use uh the B button. When it comes to pressing A, it's only gonna control uh your boy Mario. Yeah, yo. ah, I was too late. I was too late. Yeah, yo. All right, so we gained some experience. We earned nothing, and we got some coinage. I think we got coins. I don't know. Move along. Nothing to see. Oh, there's another barrel. There's another barrel in our way. All right, so when you hear them say, let's go, okie dokie, that's letting me know. How this battle is gonna go? That uh, that I'll probably get into later. Uh, it'll it'll give us a little hint on what we're what we're getting into. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, green! Yeah, did him! Oops! Oops! I was too busy trying to jump with uh Luigi while nothing was happening. Hey, okay, so we didn't get any coins for the Goomba, but we level up. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is a, a JRPG. This cares about your stats. Uh, in order from top to bottom, we have uh, HP. That's our health. We have BP. Again, we're going to get into that later. Oh, uh, We have POW. Uh, that's basically attack. How much damage Mario's going to deal. Uh, we have defense. How much he can shirk off before he starts to lose uh, health. Speed helps determine who's attacking first. I think that's not just... If I'm not mistaken... It's between Mario and Luigi for speed. Uh, all of our team attacks first, and then all of the opponent's team. The opponent's team attacks. Uh, so whoever, has, whoever has a higher speed is going to attack first. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's possible for either Mario or Luigi to attack twice before. Their speed has to be ridiculously high. Uh, and then Stash is basically our charisma. That's our luck factor. It helps us to earn uh, critical hits. And then I can add a bonus point to any one that I want. I, I, I've I never played this game focusing on stash. And then I always get to the end of the game and regret it. I never care about stuff like lucky rolls, critical hits in, in JRPGs. And then I always regret it. I think I'm going to give a little bit of a focus on stash. So it's not as simple as just adding one point. It's like a roulette wheel. Could be one point, could be two, could be three. If I'm not mistaken, it can go up to four if you if you're classy about it. Alright. So only Mario leveled up. Remember, Mario got in one more battle than Luigi. Come here, you the hell. Come here, you Yep. Too fast for him. <sighs> it's too quick. I can't catch it. And I have to get ready for the beam being immigration. Oh, it's Mario and Mr. Greeny. Can you two help me out? I'll teach you something important about going into battle in the process. 
no charge. I think this is actually what I was one of the things I was going to explain. Now, if you catch these guys, but first, you have to stomp them and start a battle. So what this wants me to do is jump on him before we get into the battle. If I do so, we'll start dealing damage immediately before the battle even begins. That's right. If you stomp on a, ma a monster as you in a battle, it'll start the battle by taking damage. Ouch. Well, isn't that super cool? Anyway, the rest is up to you. Oh, I, I knew he was going to say what I was about to say. I'll let him say it. Oops, I forgot something. If you fail to stomp on... No, he, he isn't going to say what I was going to say. Never mind. If you fail to stomp on a monster and it hits the dude and back when you enter battle, then that guy can't move until his turn comes. Watch out. Okay, what I was going to say is if the enemy in the overworld uh, where you're just walking around has a spike on its head or something like that and I jump on him, I'm going to take damage instead. All right, let's, let's take the Goombas. And of course, because we already dealt two, and it looks like they take four points. Or three, maybe. Hi, right, Luigi. What you leveling up? All right, so Luigi looks like he's more about health than anything. All the other stats look pretty low. Let's go stash. Every even level, every even level they make, we're going to go stash. That's how I'm going to keep track of which stat to, to fuel. Ooh, thanks. So he's going to take him. And put him in a barrel. Hey, can you get that other guy? You got it, fam. All right, let's do. He's dead. He's dead. We're just Goomba killing machines. Thanks. All right. Now I'm all ready. Dope. I think we're about to go up to the top now. 